you know that brothers and sisters of U.S. citizens can also immigrate to the United States? Well, there's a special way to do it. So why don't you watch this video and learn how? In this video, we're going to talk about the process of immigrating a brother or a sister to the United States. The most common way that people are immigrating right now are through family members. So a typical immigration is a husband will bring a wife, a, bride, a wife will bring a husband and, the, and their children. But what about siblings? What about brothers and sisters? And there's been a lot of debate about this uh, possibility of uh, the administration canceling the option of allowing siblings to immigrate each other. But as of now, it is still a possibility. And um, it is something that people are always wondering how to do it. And this is why we're doing this video. So typically, a US citizen can petition for uh, a sibling who is currently residing overseas. And that sibling could eventually immigrate to the United States. It's very important to understand that only a US citizen, not a permanent resident, green card holder, but only a US citizen at this point can file for his or her brother or sister to be able to come to the United States. Now, there are many, many categories of immigrants. So if it's a husband or wife, they're considered to be immediate relatives. But many, many other family members are, have categories and priority dates. So for example, uh, spouses of green card holders, they are considered to be um, uh, ca category F2A. Um, if you are uh, a child under 21 uh, or over 21, married or unmarried, you have a different category. Siblings are categorized as category F4 in the visa bulletin. And the reason that category is there is because once the US citizen files for them, they're going to be subject to a waiting period. And that waiting period de determined by their category. So siblings are considered to be category F4. But what is the actual process to sponsor a sibling? So a US citizen um, can file a petition called I-130. It's an immigrant petition, relative petition. And in that petition, there's a section that is specifically designed for siblings. That form is also used for spouses and for parents and for children. But in this case, um, we're talking about siblings, and so I-130 will be used to file a petition for a sibling. Once the petition is filed with the USAIS service, it will consist of proof of relationship, so the birth certificate of the petitioner and the beneficiary, um, uh, ID documents like a passport, um, proof of uh, residency, whatever they reside, and a bunch of questions about um, previous addresses, employment, making sure there's no criminal uh, uh, history, and things like that. So once that petition is filed with the USAIS, it's going to take several months for the petition to be approved, and then the US citizen will get a receipt and an approval with the priority date. The reason there's a priority date is because siblings are not eligible for immediate immigration, which means that unlike a spouse that can immigrate immediately within a few months, a sibling has to wait for the return. And right now, the visa backlog is so severe that most siblings will wait more than 10 years before their priority date is current and they can immigrate to the United States. So how does it work in practice? In practice, imagine you're a US citizen and you have a brother who is in France. You can file the N-130 for your sibling right now, get the petition approved, track the priority date, and follow it every month. And eventually, when that date will be current, currently it's about 10 years, your sibling will be able to um, attend a US embassy interview. Um, you know, at that point, there have to be some forms updated and things like that. And at that point, uh, if all goes well, the sibling will be able to get their immigrant visa, come to the United States, and then get their green card upon entry. So it's a very lengthy process for siblings. But as of today, it is, it's still available. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. If, if, if the government will cancel that option. But as of today, it's available under the F4 category. So we encourage all the US citizens that have siblings abroad that they want to eventually immigrate them to file their petitions now because 10 years, you know, 15 years is a long time. And if you don't start, it's never going to move forward. So once again, there is a way to immigrate your, your, your sibling. We use form I-130, immigrant petition. And remember, even if it's approved, 
the sibling will have to wait at least 10 years or so before their dates are current, before they can immigrate to the United States. Hopefully this video was, uh, was helpful. It answers the question that many, many are asking. If you have more questions, email me at jacob at h1b.biz, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with anybody that may benefit from this information. We look forward to seeing you in our next videos. Thanks for watching.